Hi tweens, Miss Melissa here. Today we're going to learn how to make uh, DIY watercolor paints. When you've completed the craft and you painted something that you like with your new watercolor paints, share it with our Facebook page and let us know how you liked it. Um, just remember that this craft, here's my completed one, takes a little while to dry. Mine took about two full days. Hope you enjoy it. See you soon. Hi tweens! Today we're going to be making uh, do-it-yourself watercolor paints. You're going to need four tablespoons baking soda, four tablespoons cornstarch, four tablespoons white vinegar, and a half a teaspoon of corn syrup. You'll need some small mixing bowls. I've got some little glass ones here that I've used for various other projects at home. <clears throat> some food coloring, whatever colors you happen to have in your house. Spoons or spatulas for stirring, and either a paint palette with uh, some deep wells, or I'm gonna use an ice cube tray. Okay, so now it's time to make our mixture. Um, Instead of a bowl, I'm going to use this uh, measuring, this large measuring cup because it's got a spout that makes it easier to pour. You're going to start by mixing together the baking soda. And if you're like me, I like to pre-measure all my ingredients ahead of time because this way I know I have enough and I'm messy and, this, and I can do it over the sink and keep things a little bit neater and cleaner. So I'm going to add, start by adding my baking soda to my bowl. And then the cornstarch. Remember, four tablespoons of each. So I've got those in my dish, and I'm going to stir them together, making sure it's nice and well mixed. Try and get out any lumps that I see. There's the fewer lumps that you have with your mixture the easier it'll be to make your paint later. Okay. Now you're going to add your four tablespoons of vinegar right over top. And it's going to react. It'll get a little fizzy, I believe. So, and so you're going to stir it. I'm stirring it while it's reacting. really good stir. It's clumpy at the bottom. But the fizz is going down and I'm still stirring. I'm getting a good size paste going. nice and thick. The fizz is all gone down. This is why you want to do a fairly large size bowl so that when it fizzes at the beginning you don't have a big mess. Okay. Now I'm going to add my half teaspoon of corn syrup and it's not a lot. So I want to make sure I add it. Make sure I get all of it in there. I'm going to use my measuring spoon to help stir this to get it all in there. So that I have the right proportions in my mixture. And I can get rid of that. Give it a nice good stir. And it should be plain white mixture. 
All right, now we're back. So now it's time to add your colors. I um, want some white paint. So first I'm going to just pour a little bit of white into my ice cube tray so that I have uh, just a little bit of white should I want to mix things up. See, in, in case I want to dilute some colors. So, it's hard to see, but I'll take a picture of it otherwise. So I have six bowls that I can use, so I'm going to divide my paint up into six portions. I'm going to put a little bit of the white in each, the white paint. You can double the recipe and make more. It's up to you. You can make several batches. It just depends on how much food color you have. What your artistic requirements are. So now comes the fun part. I'm going to add some food coloring. The first one I'm going to do, and you can use little spoons to mix this, you can use um, toothpicks, whatever you have on hand that makes it easy to mix. The first one I'm going to do is some yellow. So I'm going to add two, three drops of yellow food coloring in here, give it a stir and see how it how I like it. All right, I got a really nice vibrant yellow almost orange coming in here. You can see that. Looks like an egg yolk. So I'm going to pour that into my ice cube tray. Set that aside. All right, next color. I'm going to do some blue because that's one of my favorites. I tend to use blue a lot when I color and paint. So I'm putting two drops in. Give it a good stir. I'm only starting with two drops and seeing how much of a nice saturated color I get. And I can, because you can always add more. This is a very nice robin's egg blue. gave me quite a bit. So I'm going to add a little bit. I have two blues here and I'm going to add a little bit more of the dark blue so that I have a darker shade to work with as well. I have a lot of food color in my pantry. So I made a slightly darker blue and I'll put this next to the light blue. Now I think I need some green. Start with a leaf green. Two drops. Giving it a good stir. 
And I want a couple shades of green here, but I don't necessarily want to make a whole nother batch because I don't use a lot of green. So I'm going to start with a nice leaf green and I'm going to pour maybe half of it in there. And then I'll add a little bit more dark green in here. Now this is much more of a planty tree color green. Once that's all nice and well and mixed, you want to make sure there's no lumps. I'll pour the rest of that into the one next to the leaf tree. Okay, let's do some pinks and reds. already starting to harden here on the bottom so you need to work fairly quickly to get these paints mixed. Get a little bit of pink in there, about halfway, and then I'll add some red to it to make a nice deep red rose color. wanted some black and this black is thick it came pouring out so probably more paint in here more food coloring in here than there is paint so we'll have to see experiment and see how this works out because it became very soupy when I poured out my, my black food coloring Black there. And last but not least, how about some purple? Or I could do some fuchsia first. And then make it purple after. One more story. This is a very bright, vibrant pink. But it's a little too close to the other pink. Yeah, another drop of that. The nice thing about watercolors is once you've made them, you can dilute the colors with water. So if you don't want quite such a bright shade, it's easy to adjust. All right, I made a little bit of pink. And let's add some purple. All right, so here you have it. Here's my uh, ice cube tray full of paints. We have black, kind of an olive green, 
a light leaf green, a bright pink, red, kind of a light pink, some white, some purple, some yellow, although it looks more orange in here, light blue and dark blue. So now all I need to do is let it dry and then I'll be able to, for a few hours and then I should be able to use them. Happy painting!